Welcome back. Today we're going to look at two different graphical methods for vector addition and subtraction. Now let us look at the vector operation of addition. When two or more vectors are added, the resulting vector is aptly named the resultant. We will begin with a graphical representation of this operation. There are two ways of visualizing this. One, the tip to tail method, and two, the parallelogram rule. In the tip to tail method, as the name implies, you place the tail of one vector against the tip of the other. This works for two or more vectors since vectors follow the commutative property of addition. The order of this does not matter. Let us look at an example. Let us start by redrawing vector A. We will then place the tail of the next vector, vector B, against the tip of the previous vector, vector A. We could have started with either vector, however. The resultant vector is drawn in green here from the tail of the first vector to the tip of the final, or in our case, second vector, since we only have two. The other way of doing this is with the parallelogram rule. This is just another way of visualizing the same thing. Let us use vector A and B again. Instead of placing the vectors tip to tail, you place all of the tails at the same point. Then you draw lines parallel to the vectors to make a parallelogram, hence the name. The resultant starts at the base of the vectors and terminates at the opposite corner of the parallelogram. For more than two vectors, you have to do multiple iterations each time with two vectors. This can be a cumbersome process if you have more than two vectors. As we can see, the tip to tail method would have given us the same result. Now let us look at how to subtract vectors. Subtracting vectors is very similar to subtracting scalars, in the same way that when you are subtracting scalars, you just change the sign and then add, when you're subtracting vectors, you just reverse the direction of the vector being subtracted and then add them as before. Let us look at an example of this using the tip to tail method. Here we have vector b being subtracted from vector a. We will redraw vector a as before. For vector b, we will reverse it since it is being subtracted, and then we will draw it starting at the tip of vector a. The resultant will be drawn from the starting point to the tip of vector b. Now let us look briefly at an example involving three vectors. Here we have vector a plus vector b minus vector c. We will add vector a and vector b normally using the tip to tail method. Then we will reverse the direction of vector c since it is negative and add it to vector b. The resultant is drawn in yellow here. Now let us test the commutative property that I mentioned earlier by adding these in a different order. We will start with negative c, and then we will add vector b to the tip of that, and then we will add vector a. As you can see, the resultant points in the same direction and has the same magnitude, or at least it would if I could draw better. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to stay up to date with all of my latest posts. Comment down below any thoughts or questions you may have. See you next time.